A march for Trump rally was held at the Capitol, one of nine in the state today to show public support for the president, but they weren't the only ones at the Capitol. Fox 47's Gentil Neal reports. You here to support Donald Trump? Now we have what appears to be a really big bully for president. The cold weather didn't stop Trump supporters and Trump opposers today here at the Capitol. The two groups of people braving the cold and taking a stand, one side saying, Meanwhile, the other side is encouraging each other to keep supporting our president and supporting the push to make America great again. We're just out here to support Donald Trump so Donald knows that we have his back and he has ours because he says he's for the people. A tour to the Capitol turned out to be much more for one Michigan dad, but he decided to join in. I decided to come down to take my son to the tour of the Capitol inside, you know, and I didn't realize this is all going to be going on today. And I decided to come out here and support Trump. Although their views on President Trump differ, both sides can agree on one thing, unity. To stand together, unify, support the president of our country, and try to help us all get along. We're all here just to be equal and have peace. And clearly with the nation, what's been happening, it's not exactly equal. So we just want to have a say in this. In Lansing, Gentil Nil, Fox 47 News. President Trump is making serious allegations against his predecessor today. He's accusing Barack Obama of tapping his phones during the election. Chris Pallone reports. President Donald Trump on a weekend getaway to Florida unleashed an early morning fusillade of tweets accusing former President Barack Obama of tapping his phones at Trump Tower in New York during the election. Trump offered no evidence to back up the claims but compared it to Nixon and Watergate and called Obama a bad or sick guy. Members of Congress, Democrats and Republicans are trying to make sense of the president's accusations. I'm sure he's frustrated um, with um, the back and forth and the, and the politicalization of the investigation into Russian attempts to, to manipulate um, our, elec our elections, and it's a serious charge. It needs to be investigated. I mean, what, what is he referring to? Is he looking at some Breitbart story? And in a statement, an Obama spokesman called the accusation false and said neither President Obama nor any White House official ever ordered surveillance on any U.S. citizen. At a South Carolina town hall meeting, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, a frequent Trump critic, vowed to get to the bottom of Trump's claims. If the former president of the United States was able to obtain a warrant lawfully to monitor Trump's campaign for violating law, that would be the biggest scandal since Watergate. In recent days, the Trump administration has fought back against allegations regarding its contact with Russian officials during and after the election. <laughs> Trump's accusations against Obama come as Americans take to the streets yet again. People marching in support of the president were sometimes met by anti-Trump demonstrators in cities like Denver, New York, Minneapolis and Austin. Two senior administration officials say that the president will sign a revised executive order on immigration Monday. A federal court blocked the first executive order last month. It prevented travel to the U.S. from seven majority Muslim countries. It also stopped the immigration of Syrian refugees. Immigration officials may start separating children from adults when they're caught crossing the U.S. border illegally. The Department of Homeland Security is considering the proposal. Adults would be detained and kids would be sent to protective services or U.S. relatives. Right now, people who are arrested with kids on the border are generally allowed in the country until their court disposition. Officials say the rule that allows kids to be exploited for immigration purposes by both parents and others. Today, Senator Debbie Stabenow delivered remarks at the seventh annual Pastors Salute Luncheon in Lansing. Members of the churches from all denominations came out to salute their pastors. They got a they've got to walk the red carpet and were given a plaque for recognition. The director of the event says it was great to see everyone come out all together all on one accord. Every year it grows and grows and we have people from all race, all denominations coming together on one accord. And the members are the ones that really bless their pastors because they write letters as to what they have done in their life, you know, that made them want to salute their pastor. 
Morgan said there were 34 pastors saluted and over 250 people in attendance. We're told Lansing's mayoral candidate Andy Shore also stopped by. Well, we certainly saw a beautiful start to our weekend today. We had a lot of sunshine, but didn't really help us much in our temperature department. Highs only making it in the low to mid 30s. 34 in Lansing was the high temperature. 33 degrees for your high temperature today in Jackson. And we did see those clear skies around and looks like they're sticking around at least for the first part of the overnight tonight and that's allowing us to cool off pretty quickly. So current temperatures already down to the mid 20s, 25 in Lansing and Mason, 23 degrees already in Jackson, but temperatures really shouldn't go too much further from here. We'll see lows bottoming out around 21 degrees for tonight with those mostly clear skies. Winds from the southeast though start to warm us up a little bit as we head into the day on Sunday, so we'll see a lot of sunshine to start out with. Temperatures climbing quickly into the low 40s. We'll top out in the mid 40s for tomorrow, but clouds and ultimately some rain showers move back into our forecast, and I'll let you know all about it coming up in just a little bit. Meteorologist Jim Holton, thank you. Twisted metal and ashes. That's what police say one man left in his wake throughout Eaton Rapids after a series of arson attacks. Investigators believe 24 year old Shane Tracer was involved in five separate incidents early Thursday morning. Neighbors tell Fox 47's Scott Wolchek they are stunned. It lit up the whole second story of our house. Uh, you could even feel the heat coming from it. Uh, the flames had to be as tall as the uh, the trees that are around it. It was pretty intense. This garage used to be used as a storage facility, but now as you can see, it's just ashes and scrap metal. Would you believe it's only one stop on this arson spree throughout Eaton Rapids? It seemed like he was just picking random places and trying to light a match. Because it all started with an abandoned shed on Water Street. Hardly anything is left. The flames charred the fence as well. Oh, it's kind of scary. I mean, I obviously have a shed and this building next door is vacant. Eaton Rapids fire quickly put the flames out. That's when they discovered footprints in the snow, leading them to the garage fire a few blocks away. It was crazy. I was just up and there were sirens going across and I thought something major was happening. Police found Shane Tracer nearby, who's since been charged with breaking and entering in arson preparation. That morning, investigators say Tracer also tried breaking into buildings and cars on Main Street. Watch this surveillance footage. A man walks toward the right side of the car and quickly tries to open the door. A little nerve wracking. Police say he also tried kicking in the door to Fahrenheit Salon unsuccessfully. One woman who works there says she knew Tracer and that all this was out of his character. He was respectful. He was in here a week ago. We liked him. I just never, ever would have guessed that this is something he would have done. Ever. And in a close community like Eaton Rapids, this crime spree caught people off guard. It's, it's scary, especially a small town like this. It's not what you expect. In Eaton Rapids, Scott Walchek. The Eaton County Prosecutor's Office tells us the investigation is not over and Tracer could be charged with more crimes. We'll let you know if that happens. A man has been arraigned in connection of the armed robbery at a sushi restaurant last month. 23 year old Lorenzo Rusi was charged on Monday with armed robbery and felony firearm. Police say Rusi robbed Maru Sushi in Okemos on February 18th. That's on Marsh Road. They say he came in after hours, flashed a gun and got away with some cash. We still don't know what caused a wrong way crash that killed three people in Kalamazoo County. It happened just after 5 p.m. yesterday during rush hour traffic on US 131. Police say two elderly people in a sedan were pronounced dead when first responders arrived. It appears though they took uh, a exit ramp that would lead onto Stadium Drive to a traffic light. It looks like they came from that traffic light um, the wrong way down the ramp. The truck's driver and a passenger were taken to the hospital with critical injuries. Police say this is the second wrong way crash to happen on US 131 this week. The brother of a Michigan teen charged for threatening to shoot up her school says his sister is not a threat. Police say Sarah Heiler made the comment on Twitter. The felony charges against her include making a threat of terrorism and using a computer to commit a crime. They carry a maximum sentence of 20 years behind bars. She has been charged as an adult. No, she wouldn't. I know she doesn't have the means to do so. 
A judge released Hyler on a $100,000 bond. She's not allowed to leave home, use a computer, or go to school while she awaits a preliminary exam. She was also ordered to undergo counseling. In southwestern Michigan, five high school basketball players have been charged in connection with sexual assault involving an underage classmate. The boys are 17 and 18 years old and attend South Haven High School. They were arraigned Tuesday on charges of third-degree criminal sexual conduct. They were charged as adults. The girls between 13 and 15 years old. The teens are due back in court Wednesday. Well, tonight, the father of a college student nearly killed in a hazing incident is speaking out. We first told you Thursday about former Central Michigan University student Andrew Seeley. His mother posted those photos on Facebook. She just recently found out about the incident, which happened last fall. You can see Seeley's face and eyes are swollen. Andrew has a severe peanut allergy, and someone at his fraternity spread peanut butter on his face while he was passed out. It's appalling. I, I can't believe that they can function on the campus and solicit uh, rushing from these kids as though they're an actual fraternity and get away with that. The university spokeswoman says the school is investigating potential violations of the student code of conduct. Andrew has since transferred to another college. Well, we are just getting started here tonight on the news at 10. Coming up, a mother and four children are dead following a house fire. Hear from an emotional fire chief on their efforts to fight the blaze. Plus, he's being called a hero tonight. The officer that saved two and a half month old locked in a car in freezing temperatures. But first, the Justice Department will make Jeff Sessions answer questions about his contact with the Russian ambassador. Details when your news at 10 continues. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10. Racing isn't for the weak. It takes courage to stare at adversity. Green, green, green. Watch the inside now. In this gauntlet of speed, chaos, and destruction, courage is the only thing that stands between you and the checkered flag. The Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500, Sunday at 2 Eastern on Fox. Why does everyone drive to Owasso to Young's to save money on Chevrolets? It's because we sell them for less than anybody. 2,000 minimum tray, drive a brand new Chevy Equinox as low as $75 a month only at Young's in Owasso. We've recovered over a billion dollars of verdicts, settlements, and judgments for our clients. We didn't do that by settling cheap or cutting corners. We did it by fighting and winning for our clients and their families every day, for years, for decades, over three generations, working with honor and integrity. That's the Bernstein Advantage. 1-800-CALL-SAM. The Sam Bernstein Law Firm, Michigan's first family of law. Ladies, an uplifting message from bras that fit. You become what you believe. Envision the way that you want to look. No matter what size and shape you are, it's all in our name. Bras that fit. You work hard for your money and you deserve to keep it. Why pay $1.99 to jumpstart your insurance for seven days when you can start a six-month policy for less? 30 days with stop point insurance costs less than seven days with them. Everyone approved, no matter your driving history. Guaranteed. Call today, save today. Everyone knows it's worth the drive to Young's and Owasso if you want to save money on new Chevy trucks. Right now, four-wheel drive double doors with 2,000 minimum trade as low as $189 a month. That's right, $189 a month only at Young's and Owasso. Judy, Judy, Judy. Three times the fun, weekdays at 4. Want lotion for skin that glows? <laughs> skin that glows? My skin gets so dry and itchy, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keefe Skin Repair. 48-hour moisture in one use and guaranteed relief for dry, itchy skin. Thanks to O'Keefe's, I got my skin back. Mmm, fireworks of flavor! <gasps> 
fireworks of flavor, my lips get so dried and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keeffe's Lip Repair. All day moisture and one use, and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked lips. Thanks to O'Keeffe's, I got my lips back. The Department of Justice says Jeff Sessions will answer lingering questions about his contact with the Russian ambassador, but those answers will come in writing. Fox's Lauren, Lauren Blanchard has more from Washington. Democrats wanted to question Jeff Sessions in a public hearing to ask why he didn't disclose his talks with the Russian ambassador during his confirmation hearing. But the Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley denied the request and instead Sessions will just submit his written answers Monday, something Republicans say Sessions doesn't even need to do but will to help the credibility of the Justice Department. I don't think he had to do this, but I think he did what he thought was in the best interest of the Justice Department which I think is fine. Uh, he was a surrogate for the campaign. And so I think he just wanted to err on the side of caution and remove any shred of doubt or concern whatsoever by doing that. Although Sessions has recused himself from the investigation into Russia and election hacking, Democrats didn't miss a beat, saying it doesn't clear Sessions of what they say is a lie in his confirmation hearing. For that, a number of Democrats are calling for Sessions to step aside. I can tell you what I know. The way I grew up, when you tell something that's not true, you don't say you're a perjurer. <laughs> you say you're a liar, and I think he lied. Allegations of too cozy a relationship with Russia has already brought down one of the president's cabinet members, and Democrats say Sessions recusing himself from any investigation doesn't solve the problem. But Republicans say what Sessions did by meeting with the Russian ambassador while still a senator isn't illegal, nor did he perjure himself in confirmation hearings. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News. A devastating story out of Massachusetts tonight. A mother and her four children were killed in a house fire. It happened just after midnight. Fire chief says his crews battled a very challenging condition to put that fire out, but there was only so much they could do. There was nothing we could have done different. Unfortunately, when we got on scene, the house was totally engulfed. Uh, We lost a mother and four children. Very tough thing to process there. Two other family members have managed to escape the fire. An investigation is underway, but the fire is believed to have started by a wood stove in the kitchen. Police say they found the body of a woman who had been missing since Friday in Indiana. Jacqueline Watts was found on a sandbar in a river around 830 this morning. Watts car was found unoccupied running with its lights on. Police don't know how she died. While flood victims in California are recovering from the damages at their homes, some are having to deal with another problem. Thieves are posing as volunteers looking to take the only belongings they have left. The robbers are targeting people in San Jose with yellow and red tagged homes, snagging everything from clothing to electronics. You're stealing my stuff right in front of my face. And when I looked, I seen that they had my daughter's playpen full of clothing, shoes, jackets. They had a shopping cart with my kid's bike. Police say they have increased patrols in the area. Residents have also increased their vigilance and have considered staying up overnight to keep an eye out on their belongings. An officer in Wisconsin is being hailed a hero tonight after he saved a two and a half month old from a locked car. Officer Tony Edwards responded to a call about a drunk man at a bar who's being disruptive. That man turned out to be 53 year old Merritt Cox, who was also who also left his daughter inside of the car in freezing weather. A bartender was trying to find him a ride home when he said he had to check on her. Officer Edwards quickly went into dad mode, pulling the baby from the car, feeding her and even changing the diaper. We don't want the recognition. We don't want the notoriety. We just do it because it's what's right to be done. And the people that I work with, they do this stuff every day. It just doesn't always get a picture taken. The baby was taken to a nearby hospital and evaluated. She was later returned to her mother. As for her father, he was arrested on charges of child neglect, disorderly conduct, and resisting an officer. A drive-in movie theater in Alabama will not run the new Beauty and the Beast movie because of a gay character. The owners of the Hangar Drive-In said if they can't sit through a movie with God or Jesus sitting by us, then we have no business showing it. 
The new Beauty and the Beast flick features Disney's first openly gay character. The owners say the decision was long throughout and will respect any moviegoers who choose to see the film at other, at other theaters. The family of those on board missing Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 have launched efforts to raise money for a private search. They're looking to pull together around $50 million. The nearly three year search for the plane was suspended in January. It disappeared nearly three years ago with 239 people on board. A final report on the plane's disappearance is expected to be released this year. People in France have created an online petition urging former U.S. President Barack Obama to join the French presidential race and that campaign is catching on quickly. The online petition has already gotten more than 45,000 signatures in just 10 days. Organizers are hoping to reach a million supporters by March 15th. They say they created the petition to inject a dose of humor in the campaign because of the upcoming election. It's been dominated by corruption investigations. But even though he's widely popular in France, Mr. Obama can't run simply because he isn't French. Many veterans lose their lives every day to PSD. Coming up tonight in your health headlines, researchers and doctors in Florida are working to put an end to that. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10. H2O Hydroponics. Right now, get a triple XL hood, a thousand watt nano ballast, and Hortolux bulb. Only 350 bucks. The weather outside don't matter, because growing inside is better. And you better know that if you're going to grow, go H2O, H2O, H2O. Behind Best Buy at the Lansing Mall. Fox tonight. A really big duffel bag. It's a time machine. These friends will have a blast in the past. Any ideas for our next mission? Give me this. No. It's a bag for the money. So, Al Capone has our time machine. Oops. Why would you wear loafers to kill Hitler? It's called a fall look. The colonists are stockpiling guns. How many guns? Like a million. <gasps> Making History premieres tonight on Fox. Driven collision, where we make friends by accident. Fender bender or sideswipe, whatever your situation is, bring your car to Driven Collision. With over 30 years of experience and state-of-the-art equipment, at Driven Collision, we're driven to exceed your expectations. Wilbur's Posein is now scheduling for 2017. Our team can help you turn your yard into a haven of relaxation and recreation. In-ground pool packages and financing options available. Enjoy a vacation in your own backyard with help from Wilbur's Posein Pools and Landscapes. If you're looking for a truck, Motor Cards of Lansing is the place to go. With several high-end trucks to choose from, just check out this selection. 2013 Ford F-150 EcoBoost. 2010 Ford F-150 Lariat Package. 2013 Ford SVT Raptor. 2012 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali. If you got a car and it ain't no good, who you gonna call? Motor Cars. Say yes to healthy living only at fox47news.com. There's smart ideas for you and your family to enjoy great health. It's also the online home of the moving stories that are the Swiss Strong Reports. Fox47news.com's Say Yes to Healthy Living is proudly supported by Sparrow. Choose wisely. Choose Sparrow. H2O Hydroponics. Right now, get Pro Mix Big Bales for only $27 each. Behind Best Buy at the Lansing Mall. The weather outside don't matter, because growing inside is better. And you better know that if you're going to grow, go H2O, H2O, H2O. Visit H2OHydroponics.com. Judge Mathis is a good guy, a fair guy, and he's honest. Weekdays at 1. Turn on the lights with Capital Lighting. Experience our full-service lighting showroom. Discover the hundreds of beautiful fixtures available to bring your home to life. Visit today at Capital Lighting of East Lansing, where bright ideas begin. Are you planning a graduation open house or family reunion? ac &E Rentals has what you need. Canopies, tables, chairs, portable toilets, and bounce houses. Call ac and &E Rentals for your summer party planning. 20 veterans commit suicide each day from post-traumatic stress disorder. That's according to the National Institute of Mental Health. But researchers and doctors in Florida are working to permanently end PTSD. Nicole Samavilla tells us how. 14 years in the military, including one tour in Afghanistan, took its toll on military police officer Trudy Buchanan. An IED explosion on Christmas Day. I was also 
a victim of sexual assault in 2003. After leaving the Army last February, my last straw for myself essentially was when I knew I was scaring my kids. She knew she had PTSD. You don't really think about it because you don't have time. You have a mission, you have places to be and things to do, and oftentimes you're not encouraged to think about what you need. You're always focused on what others need. She needed help and found it in Dr. George Linenfeld's reset therapy study, which utilizes sound at a specific frequency. When we leave it on for a period of time, amazingly, the emotional part of the trauma drops out rapidly and permanently. With just one treatment, Trudy went from scaring her kids back to the loving mom they knew and needed. They're not feeling that same tension from me, so they're not reacting as negatively to my uh, energy. Buchanan says reset therapy helps minimize everyday stress and nightmares. I just slept. I slept like a baby, and I don't normally sleep that deeply or that well. I've had intimacy issues with my husband due to my sexual assault. But now, after a few sessions with Dr. Lindenfeld, <laughs> it feels like the weight of the world is off my shoulders. It feels like I almost can't even go back to where I was. Right now, the Reset Therapy Study is working with 36 veterans living in Southwest California, or Southwest Florida, rather. The doctors are hoping to get funding to finish the study and treat more veterans nationwide. When a bad flu season hits, seniors may want to opt for the high dose vaccine. According to government researchers, elderly patients were 36% less likely to die from flu complications when they got the high dose rather than the standard dose of vaccine. However, the high dose vaccine was not better at preventing deaths during a mild flu season. If you suffer from allergies, we've got some good news for you tonight. The FDA has approved a new drug to treat allergies from dust mites. Those are tiny bugs commonly found in things like bedding and carpeting. It's called Odactra. It's a once daily tablet that dissolves under the tongue. It would be an alternative to allergy shots. In clinical trials, the drug effectively reduced allergy symptoms like nasal congestion and eye inflammation. Well, there's more evidence that sitting at your desk all day is bad for your waistline and your heart. Researchers monitored the activity of office workers and mail carriers for one week. They found that those with desk jobs had a bigger waist circumference. They also had a higher risk of heart disease over the next 10 years. Sitting for more than five hours a day was also linked to high cholesterol. Teething is no fun for babies or their parents trying to give them uncomfortable infants some relief. But as Mary Maloney tells us, there are some simple things that you can do to help your child through it. When your baby is teething or getting their first set of teeth, he or she can be fussy from the discomfort. It typically starts about six months of age, but can start at any time between three to 12 months of age. Here's some tips for your infant to be more comfortable during the process. Use a clean finger or cold teething ring to gently rub your baby's gum for about two minutes. Provide safe objects such as teething rings for your child to chew on. And if that doesn't work, give your child an age-appropriate over-the-counter pain reliever. Do not give your baby aspirin, as that has been linked to Rye syndrome, a rare but serious disease. Mild discomfort is normal and usually nothing to worry about. But call your doctor if the symptoms are severe or don't get any better. Some parents may luck out in a way, as not all infants seem to be affected by teething. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mary Maloney. Imagine losing your dog and 10 years later being reunited. That was the reality for one California family. The story just after the break. And we saw a sunny yet pretty chilly day today. However, a warm up is in our forecast. I'll let you know all about it coming up in a few minutes. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10. We say yes to preserving railroad history in St. John's. Fox Monday. We have a credible terrorist threat on the George Washington Bridge. The last five minutes will leave you breathless. No! An all new 24 Legacy, then. Police don't move! Back off! This just turned into a hostage situation. I'm telling you, there's only one way out of this. Is it a killer robot? Tell me it's a killer robot. I'll build one. 
An all-new APB after 24 Legacy, Monday on Fox. Find out what's going on around town for kids like me. Watch Around Town Kids every Friday during the morning news and again on the 10 p.m. news. Sponsored by Foster Swift and American One Credit Union. WSYN means we say yes to Michigan. People, People all over town are saying yes to living and working here. Fox 47 is celebrating the positive, fascinating, fascinating and uplifting stories that make this community such a great place, place to, to live. live. They're your stories and we want to hear them. We want to hear how you say yes to Mid-Michigan. Contact, Contact us through Facebook, Twitter, online or by phone. Share your thoughts, your stories, your ideas. Together, we'll say yes to Mid-Michigan. Greg Mathis grew up on the tough streets of Detroit. Now, as a judge in Chicago, he still keeps it real. Hearing real cases from real people. He is Judge Mathis. Weekdays at 1 on Fox 47. What makes a modern family? It's all relative. Jay is the patriarch. Do we kick and punch each other or do we love each other? Love, love each, each other. other. That's right. His wife is Gloria. She's Colombian, gorgeous, and loud. How am I loud? Shh. Jay's son, Mitch, is married to Cam, who's from Missouri. Mm -hmm. They are Lily's fathers. What's going on with my hair today? And each of them is... The gay uncle. Or gunkle. To Haley, Alex, and Luke. What's that? It's a body spray called Sex Grenade. And that smell is driving me crazy. Then it's working. Uh. Their parents are Phil. Whipped cream smile. Okay, that's disgusting. Stop it. And Claire, Mitchell's sister and Jay's daughter. My stepdaughter. I'm older than you. Which makes Gloria's son, Manny, Claire's kid's uncle, and makes Gloria... Like my grandma. Easy, I have stopped closer relatives than you. That leaves Joe... Grab the dipstick. Dipstick? Who's Jay's son and possibly his own grandfather. I have to say, it makes sense. No, it doesn't. It's all relative on Modern Family Nightly. Say yes to the family. Weeknights at 6.30 on Fox 47. Sundance, trucks, 200 used ones. See us soon. Save yourself a lot of money. We are Spartans. Only at fox47news.com. A penny for your thoughts. That's right. Our Community Foundation wants to know your ideas to make Lansing vibrant. The top 100 ideas will get a $25 cash prize. Contest categories include parks, buildings, waterfront, art, entertainment, and more. Projects must be located along or near Michigan Avenue, east of the Capitol. Go to OurCommunity.org to share your ideas. Now through March 20th, that's OurCommunity.org. A dozen kids in five states have become sick from E. coli. Health officials believe they ate contaminated soy nut butter. Here's the brand. It's called I'm Healthy. It was sold at stores here in Michigan like Target, Foods for Living, and Better Health Market. The outbreak affected kids in Arizona, California, Oregon, Maryland, and New Jersey. Six were hospitalized. The CDC says some of them were exposed to the nut butter at daycare. The E. coli strain can cause severe kidney damage. Thousands of electric blowers sold at Home Depot are being recalled tonight due to laceration hazard. The recall involves Ryobi 8 amp jet fan electric blowers. They were sold from December 2015 through December of last year. The plastic fan inside can break, causing the fan blades to be discharged from either end of the blower tube. If you have one, stop using it immediately and contact One World Technologies for a free replacement. A family from California has been reunited with their pet dog that went missing over 10 years ago. Tabitha Mills has the story. They were inseparable. Three-year-old Macy Haddad and her Yorkie puppy, Roxy. She was so cute. I remember I was like in love with her. I never would leave her alone. She was like my little buddy. But then Roxy was stolen from the Haddad's yard. We were heartbroken when she was gone. You know, my kids, I mean, my dog, they cried and... It just, it was devastating. That was 11 years ago. We, we never forget about her. We'd always be like, I wonder what Roxy's doing. I wonder where she is and stuff. And here she is. Here she is indeed. It's an almost unbelievable reunion. The Haddads haven't seen Roxy since she was a puppy in 2005. According to veterinarian Mark Holland, a kind Samaritan found Roxy and brought her to Southwest Veterinarian Hospital. She was in bad shape. Immediately I knew she was pretty sick. Um, the family that found her definitely wanted to help her, but she, she needed some TLC for sure. While receiving care, Holland scanned Roxy's microchip and found out she belonged to the Haddads. 
and Holland just happens to be their longtime family vet. I mean, it was real. It was pretty neat. It was, um, uh, it felt good. It felt really good. Once the Haddads found out, they immediately told Macy. I was in shock. I just couldn't believe it. And then my mom, like, she came into my room. She was like, you won't believe who this is. And I was like, Roxy? Like, oh my gosh. The two quickly reunited. If you had a best friend when you were just a little girl and you remember her all the time, um, you'd know, like, how much we missed her. <laughs> She's been just a, a blessing to our family. What may have been a chilly day today, but expect a big warm up coming soon. First Alert Meteorologist Jim Holden is in next with your seven day forecast. Stay right there. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10. Keep up to date with the green and white, current students, alum and beyond. We are Spartans, only at fox47news.com. Bossy for me. Uh, come on, sour puss. <laughs> tickle, tickle. Stop it. Tickle, tickle, too. <laughs> Cut tickle, it out. Tickle, who wants a pickle? <laughs> what does that mean? Homie, maybe you should stop. We've talked about the gray zone. Marge, he's laughing. That means he's happy. Has the Joker taught you nothing? Tickle, <laughs> what? <laughs> Knock it off. Stop it. <laughs> this isn't funny. <laughs> the child has wetted his trousers. <laughs> Dad, how could you do that? The whole audience saw me pee my pants. Son, I'm really, really sorry. Oh, I don't know if I can wow, ever make it up to you. I'm... Wow! But I sincerely wow! Homer, just because everyone else is doing the wave doesn't mean you have to. No one else is doing it. I'm trying to start it. Wow! Wow! Simpsons are on at sex. Only on Fox 47. Vote for two and a half men and keep America laughing five nights a week. First alert forecast only on Fox 47 News at 10. Well, it certainly was a beautiful start to our weekend. Even if the temperatures didn't quite cooperate, they eventually will, though, once we get into the end of the weekend, more so into the start of the work week. Right now, though, it is fairly chilly outside. Current temperature in Lansing of 25 degrees. 25 also the current temperature in Charlotte. Jackson right now at 23 degrees. Winds, they have been picking up just a little bit as we go throughout the day today. So right now we're looking them out of the southeast about 5 to 15 miles per hour. That's leading to wind chills that are down into the teens for tonight. 16 is what it feels like in Lansing, feeling closer to 11 degrees in Jackson. But those winds also limit our cooling for tonight. So your air temperatures really shouldn't go down much more. In fact, we'll actually see a slight increase in those air temperatures once we go into the early morning hours of Sunday. So waking up on Sunday morning, we'll already be in the mid, if not upper 20s, and we'll continue to warm throughout the day. So look for highs on Sunday back into the mid to upper 40s. 
And then it gets even warmer once we get into the start of the work week. Monday, your high temperature is 60 degrees and we'll still be in the 50s on Tuesday, although we will be looking at some rain showers both of those days. Certainly wasn't the case for today. We had a beautiful day, lots of sunshine around, just a couple high clouds towards the middle portion of the day. And as we zoom out, you'll see more clear skies just off to our west. There are some clouds starting to push farther towards the north, but they shouldn't really be affecting us too much. However, we are watching a warm front that will cross through our area tomorrow night. And as a result of that, we'll see that big warm up in temperatures, but we'll also eventually see some rain showers for Monday night into Tuesday. So we'll see all this in your future track and we're clear for tonight and that's why temperatures are down to the 20s. But we stay clear into the start of the day on Sunday with winds out of the southeast and that helps us warm well into the 40s with a lot of sunshine. However, clouds are set to return for the second half of the day on Sunday and don't be surprised if you see an isolated rain shower or two. But any of that activity should be pretty light and really most of us will be not seeing it. As we get into the Monday, Sunday night into Monday, we see a couple more rain showers move through the area and expect some more scattered rain showers to go along with some very warm temperatures on Monday. Monday's highs are up around 60 degrees. But by Monday night, we are starting to watch for a warm front, a cold front that will move through our area, bringing widespread rain, probably even a few thunder showers for the early morning hours on Tuesday. But then after the front moves through our area, we'll start to clear out. So expect to see some sunshine return to our area by Tuesday afternoon. So for tonight, low temperature is about 21 degrees, mostly clear skies, and that leads to a sunny start to our day on Sunday. We should warm up pretty quickly given all that sunshine and a fairly strong southeast breeze. And we'll be up to 42 degrees by noon, and then we'll ultimately top out around 47 degrees. However, the clouds are returning late, and we probably have to deal with a couple isolated rain showers late in the day on Sunday. In your three-day forecast, though, you see more rain showers in the forecast for Monday and Tuesday, just scattered rain showers on Monday. And it looks like we have some thunderstorms moving through late night on Monday and more so into the early morning hours on Tuesday. And that allows us to cool down towards the middle of the week. Wednesday and Thursday, your high temperatures right around 40 degrees with a fair amount of sunshine. But we do see a warm-up in this forecast once again towards next weekend. We'll have to be back into the 50s with more rain showers. All right, Jim, thank you. Tonight's pump patrol price, $229 at the Kroger in St. John's. We're always looking for the least expensive gas prices in mid-Michigan every day. If you see it, give us a call, 484-8847, and we will put it on TV. The Big Ten Tournament begins next week in men's hoops, and a lot was on the line for Michigan State today, playing Maryland in the regular season finale. Highlights are next in sports. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10. We say yes to public safety in Lansing. There's only one place to get local news in prime time. One place to get a full hour recap of events around the world, across America, and in your own hometown. There's only one team of anchors, reporters, producers, and crew that bring it all to you every night. One source for keeping you up to date with the ever-changing weather and doing it all an hour ahead of the rest. Sarah Swistak, Dustin Bonk, say yes to news on your schedule. Fox 47 News at 10. Fox Tuesday, when the team goes deep undercover. The whole reason we're here is to solve a case. Will they catch the killer? Not to pointlessly smash into cars. Or crash and burn. Ruth, don't let him get away. All new Bones, Tuesday at 9, 8 central on Fox. Why does everyone drive to Owasso to Young's to save money on Chevrolets? It's because we sell them for less than anybody. 2,000 minimum trade. Drive a brand new Chevy Equinox as low as $75 a month only at Young's in Owasso. Uh, Mrs. Wiggins, can you hear me? Hello? I have an important announcement to make. Hello? Don't press that button when I'm Hello? Don't talk while I'm talking. Carol Burnett is on me TV now. Oh, I didn't hear that. M E. Do you have the M? Yeah. Okay, and then put a, an E well, after I just, it. I didn't You're know. talking when I'm talking. Put that reminder on my calendar. Can you hear me, Mrs. Quakens? Carol Burnett. Me TV. So put a reminder on that. Uh... Hello. Okay, I'm going to hang up now. Now? You you go back to resting.
I've got to get some sleep. Everyone knows it's worth the drive to Young's and Owasso if you want to save money on new Chevy trucks. Right now, four-wheel drive double doors with 2,000 minimum trade as low as $189 a month. That's right, $189 a month only at Young's and Owasso. Meet the most interesting businesses and people with Bob and Mary on Morning Blend. An uplifting message from bras that fit. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is mystery. Today is a gift. Give her the gift of confidence, no matter what size and shape you are. Gift certificates available. It's all in our name, bras that fit. You work hard for your money and you deserve to keep it. Why pay $1.99 to jumpstart your insurance for seven days when you can start a six-month policy for less? 30 days with stop point insurance costs less than seven days with them. Everyone approved, no matter your driving history. Guaranteed. Call 